look, I know there's something wrong and if it's really that important, you can talk to me now. But if not, can we please leave it to, for tomorrow because... You're not in the mood? Of course. You never are, Mason. It really shows how much you care. I do care. It's just that my audition today didn't go so well and I really need some space, okay? You don't care about what I have to say? I do care. It's just that last time I checked, I did nothing wrong. If you consider wanting to fuck Ashley from psychology as doing nothing wrong, then fine. Go ahead and watch films on Netflix wishing you had the talent to be in them. <laughs> Maybe you are fucking crazy. Crazy? I've seen the way she talks to you. Oh Mason, can I borrow a pen? Oh Mason, can you help me with my psychology homework? I wanted to help her because I wanted to be a good friend. You study fucking drama and I see the way you look at her. Her perfect little body, her perfect straight teeth, and her perfect double D tits. They're actually C's. Who gives a shit? Well, you clearly do. I'm tired of you caring more about other girls than me. Maybe if you spent more time in the gym than the library, you wouldn't be so insecure. Okay, babe, you know I think you're beautiful. Yeah, my relationship went to shit, but it wasn't always like that, and trust me, I was going to get her back. We met when we were young. Those were simpler times when all you had to worry about was homework and GCSEs. She was in my maths class, and I hated maths. But she loved it, and that's how we began speaking. I was never good at maths, and what the fuck is Pythagoras' theorem anyway? But if it wasn't for her, I don't think I would have passed. I remember nearly sharing her first kiss until I ended up ruining her notebook instead. You know when you're younger and you first feel love, it is the strangest, most fucked up yet amazing feeling. I just couldn't stop thinking of her. Her smile and her eyes, everything about us just seems so perfect. The thing about love is, you have no idea what the hell it is. And then one day you wake up feeling it. I can't describe what it really feels like, but it's like suddenly you understand all those love songs and what they mean. All those years together, all those memories, and you find out eventually over time, you start to grow apart as much as it hurts and as much as you don't want it to happen it just begins to happen so naturally the magic just wore off you still feel something but it's not the same i think we maybe kind of took each other for granted at times i didn't know about that girl or just the idea of her and this was the girl that i only thought was real in my dreams the one who was honestly the best thing in my life and the only one that could read my handwriting well enough to help me. Suddenly, she just became another person I had met. And it sucked. And then just like that, Things just end. I remember when I said I was gonna get her back. Oh yeah, I tried.
Mason, she's gone, bro. You have to accept her. I don't want to accept her. I want her back. When was the last time you ate? Can I get you anything to eat? No. I'm all right, thank you. Are you sure you're going to be okay? After a while, I thought about all those moments that caused us to part. I began to think that maybe, maybe she wasn't the one that made things go wrong. And I asked myself, why did I always assume that it was her fault? In those moments, you just feel like everything's going wrong and you never take a moment to realize what you could have done. And I think it's those small little moments where you maybe, you maybe don't love as much as you should or you don't give them the affection that they deserve. I think it's those moments that are the most dangerous. I think when I accepted that I was also in the wrong, I felt that I could move on just a little easier. Because you see, despite all the love that we had for each other, the memories that we had, this late night staying up, everything that we shared, those feelings naturally just faded. And for so long, I didn't want to accept it. There's different chapters to love. And it turns out me and her, our story had ended. And maybe it was time to move on. Are really your name? No, this isn't my uniform, but it explains why I've been getting the weird looks today. So what is it? My name is Dawn. So what's yours? It's um, it's Mason. Ah, uh, my break is ending soon, but it was really nice talking to you. But wait, if you ever need help with maths, don't ask me because I hate it too. <laughs> <laughs>